Lacey here with The Sweet Pea Chef. Welcome back. Some of my most popular recipes are my muffin recipes because muffins rock. That includes my banana nut muffins and my banana chocolate chip muffins, and those are super amazingly delicious, but sometimes it's really helpful to use what's fresh in the season and to have a little bit of variety to keep spicing up our healthy lifestyle. So today, how about we make some delicious strawberry muffins using all real ingredients? That means no artificial ingredients, no grains, no artificial flavors, no added sugar or any of that stuff. Let's make some paleo strawberry muffins. All right, let's get started. So first start preheating your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and greasing a muffin tin with some coconut oil. The coconut oil is optional. You can also use cupcake liners if you would prefer. I don't personally like those as much because I like just popping them right out of the muffin tin and having them ready to go, but up to you. Next, we gotta wash our delicious fresh strawberries, which are super in season right now, so I love using them in my recipes. Speaking of strawberries, did you know that they are super awesome and healthy for you? They reduce inflammation, they help with your skin, they lower blood pressure, they improve your immunity, and they even improve your mood. They're pretty amazing. All right, now that we have them all washed, we're gonna remove their husk by just slicing them off, or if you have a dehusker, you can use that, but slicing them off is just as good. And we're gonna dice them into small, even-sized pieces. We keep them evenly sized as much as possible because that way they're gonna cook evenly when we put them in the muffins. Once you have all of your strawberries diced and de-husked, go ahead and set those aside while we prep the batter. For our batter, we're gonna use a medium mixing bowl and we're gonna be adding in some almond flour, baking soda, and sea salt, and then we're gonna whisk that together and then we're gonna set that aside. A common question I get is, is almond flour the same as almond meal? And the answer is yes, they're actually the same thing. It's pretty much blanched almonds that are ground up into a flour, which is awesome because it's perfect for people who can't have gluten. It's also paleo, they're really great. And usually you can use about a one-to-one -one ratio for almond meal or almond flour to regular all-purpose flour. So it's super easy to bake with. Next, we're gonna use a different mixing bowl and we're gonna mash some really ripe bananas. And we're gonna use ripe bananas because the riper the banana, the sweeter the muffin. Using ripe bananas is a way that we get around adding extra sugar into our muffins because ripe bananas are naturally very sweet, so we can just add those on in and not add any artificial sugars. Depending on the size of your bananas, we're looking for about three quarters of a cup of mashed bananas. And if you're worried that it's gonna taste like bananas, don't worry about it. It will not taste like bananas. I promise it's gonna taste like delicious strawberry muffins. The bananas are just there for a delicious added sweetener. If you wanted, you could also use unsweetened applesauce, which is another way to do it. Next, we're gonna add in our eggs, pure maple syrup, some melted coconut oil, and some pure vanilla extract. And then mix this all together until it is fully combined. Now add in our dry ingredients, including the almond meal that we mixed together earlier, and then stir to combine. The cool thing about this is usually with a gluten flour, you're gonna have to worry about over stirring it because you don't want it to get super dense. This, it doesn't really matter, so just make sure you get it nicely mixed. Now we get to add in our fresh diced strawberries into the mix and then stir that together. If you don't have fresh strawberries on hand, you can always use some thawed frozen strawberries. The final result is gonna be a little bit mushier strawberries, it's gonna bleed a little bit more red into the full muffin, but they will work as well if you don't have access to fresh strawberries. All right, so that is our muffin batter, and now it's ready to be transferred into our muffin tin. So I use an ice cream scoop to do this, that, that way I have the exact same amount that I go into all of my muffin tins. So I'm gonna use my ice cream scoop and I'm gonna evenly divide our batter into each muffin cup. We're looking for it to be about two thirds of the way full, if it's a little bit more, that's okay. Just try to make them even because the more evenly distributed all the batter, the more evenly baked they are gonna be and you don't have one that's over mushy and one that's overcooked at the same time. Then I like topping them off with a few extra strawberries that I've diced up because it looks really pretty in the final muffin and it adds a little bit of moisture to the muffins and it's just really cool to add little strawberries on top. Now we're gonna transfer our muffins into the oven and we're gonna bake for 18 to 20 minutes. What we're looking for is for the muffins to be nice and puffed up, golden brown around the edges, and when you insert a toothpick or a knife, it's gonna come out clean. 
Now you can remove your muffins from the oven and let them set in the muffin tin for about five minutes and then remove them from that and put them on a cooling rack and allow them to cool and come to room temperature. Properly stored, these yummy paleo strawberry muffins are gonna last for about one to two days just as is. If you cover them in plastic wrap and set them on your counter, they'll last for a couple days longer. If you place them in the fridge in an airtight container, they'll last for up to a week. So it depends on when you're gonna be eating them. Or you can just eat them all and share them with everybody right when you have freshly baked strawberry muffins because strawberry muffins need to be shared. And yes, you can totally freeze them. Just go ahead and wrap them individually in plastic wrap and then place them into a freezer safe bag. They're gonna last for up to three to four months in a freezer. So if you have that kind of delayed gratification, you're okay to have that. And then also it makes a really good meal prep breakfast if you wanna have those later. All right, so now you have a delicious paleo strawberry muffin recipe that's refined sugar-free, refined flour-free, it's gluten-free, it's clean eating, it's all the goods. And it's a really great way to use up some ripe bananas and some fresh strawberries from the season. So if you want more muffins, check out my banana chocolate chip muffins or my banana nut muffins, conveniently located for you in my muffins playlist for you to check out. Make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and if you want more muffins because muffins rock, let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. See you later, bye-bye.